what is it that makes young men watching a football match want to beat up their partners? I heard a statistic on Monday which kind of scared me. Apparently, before uh, the, the final match on Sunday, it was predicted that victims of domestic abuse would be calling for help something like 33% more than normal uh, a, a couple of hours after the end of the game had England lost. And what's even more scary is that it was predicted that if the, the game was won, that still the, the, the numbers would go up, but this time by about 27%. So hardly any difference between those figures. So what's going on? What is it that creates this uh, space where uh, young men, essentially young men, are encouraged somehow to become more violent with their partners? So what this suggests to me is that rather like drink, you know, when somebody gets drunk, you get happy drunks morose drunks, aggressive drunks. Uh, the, the drink allows what's underneath the surface to, 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 to come up. And this is rather the same, that when young men see this level of tension and energy coming off uh, the screens watching a, a football match, it gives them a sense of permission to express this aggression that they have inside them, this pent-up anger. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with anger if it's managed and controlled in the right way. Anger is a great motivator. But we have to learn how to manage our anger. And I don't think we teach our young men that at all. I think we teach them a, a really warped version of masculinity, which they live out in all sorts of ways. And that's one of the roots of why there's so much misogyny still today. So how about we change the way that we educate our young men? How about we change the um, opportunities that we give them because we've cut them back so much? Boxing clubs, social places where young men can go and learn how to control uh, their, their basic drives. I think that would make a huge difference to our society and it would make our organizations a lot safer and happier places to work in. So there you go. There's my thought for the week. My name is Tom Dennis. I'm the CEO of Serenity and Leadership. And I hope that you'll like what I've said or disagree with what I've said. But, but put your thoughts in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks. Bye.